My name is Therese and I live in San Francisco, although I am Swedish um, and I moved for a new opportunity in San Francisco a few months ago. So I'm currently working for a Swedish uh, trade and development organization where I'm helping Swedish companies to grow and to expand in the US and I'm also helping companies that are American that wants to grow and to expand to USA. So I'm working a lot with American people and with Swedish people. How did I get to where I, where I am right now and today? So I started off um, studying law in school, so I went into law school. And law school made me understand how, within what frames the government is working and how how things are working in a city and why they're working as they do. And I was very curious about the rules and regulations about, you know, uh, how a city is functioning and the kind of benefits um, that we get as um, citizens. So I went into law and law is a very, very kind of broad, um, uh, broad industry. You have so many different topics within law. So it's, it's always, uh, I can really recommend uh, actually reading law because it's always something you think is very interesting. And the topic you think is interesting, you can then specialize in and then work in that um, topic. So it's very, very broad. Um, and before I moved to the US after law school, I was working um, as a trainee for the stock exchange where I learned to understand who are the big players in a society. I worked with large banks, with large financial institutions, and I got to understand what kind of business they did. It, um, in addition to banks lending money, they have other services too. After that, I was very curious to actually work within a bank. So I took a legal position in a bank uh, and I understood firstly like how a large organization is actually working, what's happening on the top and what's happening on the ground floor where we have our customers. I then, uh, after that, I moved on to consulting. So I not only worked for one organization, but I got to work with many different organizations, so both small players and larger players. It could be a small, um, and a blender, or it could be a large bank. Um, and I had the opportunity to actually work for consulting firms in both Stockholm, uh, London and Paris. After working for almost eight, nine years, I wanted to see the broader picture. After having, you know, worked on a very national level, in one topic, then I moved one step up. So I had a more broader topic for more countries and from organizations. And then decided that, that I wanted to have an international uh, perspective. So that's why I took the opportunity to start working for uh, the Swedish trade organization, uh, Business Sweden. And now I'm working on a, such a broad, broad topic that I'm working with both Swedish organization and the Swedish state, as well as American um, companies and the American state. The best part of my job is that I get to work with so many projects. It's a very varied uh, work, so and I also get to have many different roles within a project. I could be a project manager, which is basically where I'm managing different parts of the project. I'm making sure that people who are working together with me, that they do the job that they're supposed to do. I'm the one calling in for meetings. I'm having an agenda and a timeline that I make sure that everyone is following. And I'm also the one communicating with the client. At the same time, I can also have a very kind of small specific, specific role where I'm the one reporting up to someone else. So I get to look into regulations, I get to work specifically a lot with one company that wants something certain. So it's a very, very, very broad um, and varied uh, tasks that I get to work with. So that's the best part. The most challenging part is maybe sometimes you can have 
maybe too many projects on our table. Uh, so you have to be very organized and to make sure that you actually put enough of time on each project so that you have the time to work on everything and also within the eight times a day that you're supposed to, or eight times, eight hours per day that you're supposed to work. So the, the whole kind of organizing bit is always challenging, I think for many jobs as well. So um, for me, when I started, when I moved from Stockholm, which is my hometown to London, then I actually went online on LinkedIn and I was looking on a couple of firms that I thought was interesting. And then I tried to find who is the boss in, in the subject that I'm expert in. So then I tried to have a, my own personal connection with the boss. So I basically emailed him and I presented myself. This is me. This is what I'm good at. Uh, do you have an opportunity for me to work with you? So I tried to go on a very personal level to just reach out to the person that I thought I could work with or that could be my boss. So I would say, um, try to see if you can find someone, a human that you can connect with, that you can have a, a chat with. And then I can also say that, don't be afraid and think that everything is you know, different in a new country. It works quite similar to how it works in your own city or your own country. So it's always quite easy just to kind of reach out and to just try something new. And if it doesn't work out, then you just move on.